Here we go. So it's the weekend, and I just got the craziest text message. I am super excited for this. Mine down really, really tight, so. What is this? Uh, okay. that's not below yes, depth. Yes. You're not quite below depth there. Come on, <laughs> there come you on. go. Yeah, I saw that. We actually, we actually have to explain to everyone what the heck's going on here. So where are we right now? We're waiting in front of um, a burger place. No, no, but like, where are we? Like, where oh, is this? We're in the North north of the north of Ontario called North Bay. That's What's in... the halfway point. This is the halfway okay, between... Okay, to, to the actual north. The, like, the true north. Beyond, yeah. We're not quite beyond the wall yet, but we're no, at North Bay. Yet. This is the wall. Winter is coming still, but we haven't <laughs> figured out when. What's, what's in North Bay? What's North Bay known for? Um, it's got a uh, runway so no. that, that the <laughs> space shuttle could land on. So it's got a runway, and what does a runway mean? We're probably gonna use something that can fly? We might be in something like a flying canoe. Yes. It's very possible. Slow, walk toward the chopper, nice and slow. Oh, take your time getting in. I got it, I got this one. Oh, okay, you're gonna grab yeah, that one? Yep, I got this one. Alright, then lift it. Yep. That's fine, take your time, there's no rush. Confirmed? We're good? Yep. <laughs> Okay, so we just finished the basic helicopter training and needless to say, it was super intimidating uh, hearing all the things that can go wrong, but I think we nailed it. I don't know, how do you feel? I feel pretty good. Ryan's feeling pretty good and now we're about to do it for real. So check this out. Okay, future Anthony here. And before we get into the second half of the day, I wanted to give you a bit of context for what you just saw and what you're about to see. And also a huge shout out to both my friend Sean at Blackline Simulations and Helicopters Canada for being super cool about letting us do all of this. So Sean who runs Blackline Simulations puts on some of the coolest events 
not only in Canada, but probably in North America, ranging from helicopter assaults like you're about to see, to how to pack your backpack, to radio and communications courses. It's kind of like if you thought of a Tom Clancy novel and bringing that to life. You want to be in the video? She wants to be in the video. Oh, jeez. So while Blackline is targeted more towards the Airsoft Milsim style player, uh, if you're someone who doesn't have as much gear and actually just enjoy role playing, there are ways to get involved. So to give some context, what you're about to watch is an insertion by helicopter. The ground forces, which are call sign Raven, are gonna make their way off the helicopters towards a target vehicle, which has a piece of intelligence that they need to recover. Once they have that intelligence, they have to make their way to an extract point and then call for the helicopters. They have one chance at getting this done. There's no respawning, there's no second lives, there's no do-overs. So let's see if their training from this morning pays off. As it stands right now, Air Assault Team is 12 personnel. The pictures 1-6 and 1-7 will retrieve the equipment. That means once the area is secure, 1-6 and 1-7 will be SSE. Prisoner security. One four one five will provide up and down with security. Here we go. Raven one five, this is control comp check over. Control, this is Raven one five, comp check on the battle Raven one six, this is control comp check over. Uh, drop me off in the middle of uh, help. Get the guy on top! He got nothing! 
He took me and he pretty much just like straight dropped me off. I was like, can I get out? He's like, yeah, you can get out now. Like, all right. You had your headset on? I didn't have my headset, okay. but he's just kind of like, yeah, like gave yeah, me the thumbs like, up or whatever. Yeah, was, so yeah, I don't know, super cool to kind of fly solo in the helicopter and then being able to get you guys coming in and just like yeah. jumping out of the helicopter. Yeah. Well, not jumping, but oh, back to see, yeah. I thought idea. it was really cool to see oh, when you were filming the other helicopter unloading. Yeah. And you ended up, um, getting hit by our rotor wash yes and like i could see the rotor wash and the other one hitting you and then the cloud that hit you and he kind of went over a little bit and then he just kept filming and then he spun around <laughs> yeah. and it was just it was just really i was like oh my gosh there's two helicopters i have to film them both <laughs> yeah pretty cool yeah man. no i got a i got a sick shot of the one coming in and then just like whoo, yeah that was around. really cool man but honestly awesome experience oh so. yeah dude totally i think that's something we're gonna have a hard time topping 